and Max Verstappen came up and said, oh, these are your parents. And I was just like, yeah, he said, oh, hi, nice to meet you. I'm Max. Will taught me everything I know. You also mentioned that you drove in the Florida Winter Series as yeah. well. Had you done any driving previously on track or were no. you just get, getting given opportunities here and there because of your, you know, your profile? Yeah, so I was I was working for NBC at the time and uh, this was, uh, it only lasted for one season. Um, everybody said it was sort of uh, bankrolled by Lawrence Stroll so that Lance could get a bit of single-seater time. Yeah. I'm not sure the truth uh, behind that, but it did only last for that one year when Lance was in it. But it, it had a stellar lineup. It was Max Verstappen, Lance Stroll, Nicholas Latifi, Tatiana Calderon, um, Antonio Fuoco, Raffaella Marcello, uh, some re- uh, Ed Jones, uh, some really great, wow. yeah. really tidy, uh, Dennis van der Laar, some really great, really tidy peddlers there uh, who've gone on to do so much. Uh, in their own careers and there was a journalist car put aside for each round and uh, Ferrari said did I want to go and do one of the rounds I'm like, yes absolutely <laughs> um, and it was brilliant um, because it gave me that real first-hand experience of, of what it was like to, to go out and to try and compete I can't say that I raced I can't say that I competed I shared a racetrack with those guys but it was very quickly obvious of of you know why I talk about it and why I don't do it um I think my first practice session I was like 17 seconds off the pace but it got you know by the end of the weekend I was running within two seconds of of those guys and I was I was happy with that I was happy with the kind of the progress that I'd made happy to get to the end of my last race without being lapped and will forever be able to say I finished ahead of Nicholas Latifi in a race so that's that's (laughs) I'll take that um but it was uh it was a hell of an experience, um, you know, for the first time really understanding how aerodynamics work and how when you're on it and you, you're, you know, you're giving the car the messages, stop or go, you know, that, that it reacts to you. You can't just leave it neutrally through a corner. You have to be giving it, telling it what to do. And that first time that it, you really put it into a corner and you feel the, the, the effect of the aerodynamics, what what it actually means and and the confidence that it then gives you and how you how you build that up um you know what getting marbles on your tires feels like what dirty tires feel like what dirty air feels like what a slipstream feels like because you just speak about them you understand the theory yeah you understand what it means but you don't you don't ex- know the experience so to have that was was amazing um and there was a hell of a lot of running as well uh over the course of the weekend uh, way more than in sort of an F2 or an F3 series now. It was right. loads, loads of, of running. But and also to meet these guys when they were so young. You know, Max was was just out of carts. Lance was just out of carts. This was their first single seater, competitive single seater experience. And uh, seeing the this this sort of blossoming potential in these guys was it was absolutely incredible. Um, I, I, the one the one good thing I could take out of it was I had the best race starts. I had the quickest reaction time and the best race starts out of anybody. Is that right? But then, yeah, but then Luca Baldessari was just like, how old are you, Will? And I was just like, um, oh, when was it? It was 24. I was like, I'm 33. He's like, yeah, okay, these guys are 15, right? You've been driving how long? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I've had my license 16 years. They were like, yeah, if your clutch control wasn't a little bit better than these guys who don't <laughs> yet have a driving license, uh, there'd be something wrong. So <laughs> that was the that was the only thing I could I could do well. And did you get into contractual talks or <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, but it was fun. You know, it was lovely. And, and I got, so it was really nice. Um, my, I remember my parents came to a race a few years afterwards and uh, it was at spa and it's as always at spa, the race ended in about an hour and a half after the race ended, it, it started, you know, pissing it down with rain. And, uh, so we ran into Red Bull to, to, to hide from the rain and Max Verstappen came up and said oh these are your parents and I was just like yeah he said oh hi nice to meet you I'm Max Will taught me everything I know uh, <laughs> which was really lovely um, and that meant a lot to you know to, to they always didn't you knew it was just joking but it was it was a really sweet thing and yeah uh, you know sort of threw back to that that time it was really nice but it I mean had you done anything on track before for that, like for you to get within a couple of seconds of those guys, even though they were young, they've been karting all their lives. Like that's very, very impressive. Oh, t- thank you. I'll take that. It was, it's, and it's, it was at, a, it was at Palm Beach, which is a really tricky little track. Cause it's all hairpins. And, I've never been a, there. Bumpy. Um, no, it's it's relatively smooth, but it's you sort of you start finish straight, quick little flick left right, left hand hairpin, uh, then relatively sort of medium quick right. 
then another right, then a hairpin, then a long straight, then a hairpin, and a flick back through onto the straight. It's a relatively short track, but each of the corner sequences, you can lose a lot of time through it, um, sort of particularly as a novice, but it was... Um, I, no, like, you know, I did a bit of karting for fun with mates and all of that, but um, I'd never... You know, the, you know, those who can do and those who can't talk about it. And uh, I never had any delusions that I was any good in a racing car. It was fun. I really loved it. I really, really loved it.